Hello, in this video I want to have a look at Euclidean or two-dimensional geometry versus non-Euclidean or three-dimensional geometry and especially how that connects to triangles or circles versus spheres. So if we do it, let's start with a Euclidean and we do a vesica and what we have now is well, we have one equilateral, so there, there and there, we have one equilateral triangle we also have here, here and here, equilateral triangle. Now they don't even have to be equilateral, whatever triangle you draw of any, it doesn't matter, they're always going to add to 180 degrees. So, but a uh, equilateral triangle is 60 degrees, so 60 times 3 is 180 degrees. You're always going to get 180 degrees on any two-dimensional Euclidean triangle. So when you think about, again, two-dimensional space, and if I do a square, okay, so I start here, I do one unit across, I turn 90 degrees, one unit, 90 degrees, one unit, 90 degrees, and then back again. So any four-sided shape in Euclidean geometry is going to be 90 times 4, or 360. Now, uh, rhombus, doesn't matter, any four-sided shape, of any description is always going to equal 360 degrees. That's a rule of two-dimensional space. But what about non-Euclidean three-dimensional space? Here we began with a, to do a two-dimensional triangle. We had two circles. Now if we do a, I want to do a, at least a good representation of a three-dimensional triangle and for that we need three circles. We have the vesica and now we're going to add one more what we call the trinity and there we have a very good representation of a three-dimensional triangle on a two-dimensional plane and by that I mean this that is a very good uh, approximate representation of a three-dimensional triangle in two-dimensional space now all 2D triangles are equal to 180 degrees all 3D triangles are equal to 270 degrees. So this is 90 degrees, 90 degrees and 90 degrees. Well, how does this quite work? So drawing it on paper, trying to represent three dimensions in two dimensions, that doesn't make sense because we're, okay, we, on, we're used to two dimensional geometry, we're quite good at it. Uh, our, our brains don't really deal with three dimensional geometry as well as they do with one and two dimensions. So how does a triangle with three corners equal 270 degrees? One of the best ways, well, we use a sphere. And so let's say here we are, I just stretched a you know, piece of string from London, so zero degrees. We get at the equator, we fly one quarter of the way around the world with a straight line around the equator. We get to 90 degrees and we turn right 90 degrees. So from the equator we turn 90 degrees north so that piece of string a bit more like that and then we fly to the north pole and at the north pole you turn 90 degrees again to your right and now we're heading south and we get back to our origin point 90 degrees 90 degrees and 90 degrees to close the triangle and that's even you can see when you put you know these are straight pieces of string across the sphere but when you compare them to this non-Euclidean triangle you get an idea of how that works now forget that it's the earth or if it's just a sphere it doesn't this is a sphere don't worry about the world map uh, still that's a beautiful proof of the whole concept of it but if it's on a sphere these are universal laws of two dimensions versus three dimensions to complete a circuit in 2d you need 90 90 90 90 360 degrees but in three dimensional space, three times 90 degrees will close, bring you back to your origin point. And the earth in itself is a wonderful uh, description of that. Turn 90 degrees to the north, 90 degrees now flying south, and you're back at your origin point. Three dimensional triangles, non-Euclidean versus Euclidean, two dimensional triangles, two circles versus three circles. With that, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Cheers.